Hey Spuddies, Potato Whiskey here and welcome back to Terra Invicta. This is where we face our first major early game crisis, but it's also where we face the potential for us to consolidate our power and really bring what we want to bring to the table. And that is unifying Europe into a single country. Now you can see here a ton of control points just got cracked down. So this is the political shakeup. There's a political solidification at the start of 2023 and there tends to be a political shakeup towards the end of 2023 in Terra Invicta. And so what a political shakeup it has been. We are now chooching at maximum chooch when it comes to influence. However, our global public opinion is incredibly low. We're going to have to work on that. So uh, the event triggered and has disabled, I would say we rolled Half of Germany, half of France, and two thirds of the Benelux, but none of the UK. I would say we got away with that a little bit. We came out on top with the control of an Africa. I should have maybe put more control points in Africa, but it could have just as easily gone the other way. We would have suffered a full crackdown in Europe. So how are we going to counter the crackdown? Well, it's going to involve boosting our public opinion in all of these places and solidifying our control. Now, this is also when the political situation in Europe is going to start to break down before it gets better. All of the factions that are in control of countries in Europe that do not like me are going to start pulling countries out of Europe, um, which is going to make it harder for us to unify Europe. But if we unify the main power block in Europe, which is the UK, France, Germany and the Benelux, then it'll be much easier to start solidifying control over the outer lying areas. So Italy just did it, it takes it. Italian exit, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, so biggest and most important thing here. Anything for me to buy? Could get a little bit of extra science here. 11 science per month. That equates to, what, 110 science plus 20, uh, 130 science per year. It's not a bad amount of extra science. I think I'll just go ahead and grab them. I may as well buy every org that I can and then be selective later down the line. Now, here's a question. Do I have any criminal characters? No, unfortunately, I don't have any criminals, so I can't get control of the, the Russell Haig cartel. It would have been handy to have because that would have been extra special ops income and a decent amount of special ops income at that. So, yes, um, main objective here now is to start boosting my popularity in the three European nations that I care the most about and also to defend my interests in these countries to solidify the control over the points that I still control. All right, we're starting propaganda campaigns across Europe with the goal of boosting our popularity. The reason we want to boost our popularity is because the higher our popularity in these countries, the harder it is to take actions against our weakened control points. Any of these control points with orange on them have been weakened and are vulnerable to enemy purging. We've also completed the Alien Flora project, which is fantastic. This is going to update our codex information on the Xenoform. Basically, it's a kind of machine-like bioform that it is a genetically uh, it's a genetically modified Xenoflora that is theoretically colonizing regions. Now, what it'll do after it colonizes a region, we don't know. However, I can't imagine it'll be all too good for the people who live in that region. We have just finished the global research mission to the moon. Uh, Project Exodus is in control of that tech slot. So now we can begin uh, sending probes to the moon's surface. Let's go ahead out into the outer galaxy and we can begin the second layer of this game's actual, you know, 4X parts. And that is the colonization of the moon, the very first orbital body that we will get control of. But before we can colonize it, we simply need to prospect it. So we're going to launch a probe that'll take 19 days. Let's launch it. Yep, perfect. We're starting to boost our popularity We've back on Earth. Yep, look at that. Humanity First is already trying to purge France. So we're going to have to try to defend that. And mm, yep, we lost a control point. The Benelux we need to immediately counterattack and try to retake it. So these they're going to go for our strong control points. That's fine. That's what we expected them to do. We just have to be ready to deal with it. So I'm willing to do a full, a pretty big spend on influence here to get a counter crackdown. 64 is a lot. 8 isn't much. 16, 30, 32 is a lot. I think I would be willing to do 16. That's 10 days worth of income to get a 76% chance. Let's also do major public supports in Benelux because that's somewhere we've already lost a bit of popularity. Let's defend our interests in Germany. That'll cost us 20 points. And then this guy's job is mostly to attack alien life forms. I'm willing to spend one op point. No, I really don't make that many. I make 36 per year, so spending one is a lot. He's just going to have to deal with a 30% chance to succeed at that mission. It's going to be a while before we need to like level him up. Unfortunately, it looks like someone either looks like someone maybe bought the International Monetary Fund. So we'll have to see if we can buy that off someone. It might have been the resistance. They had a ton of influence and now they don't have much. So I'd love to get in contact with them. Now, one other thing that we can do is we can actually directly invest in nations. So, for example, I can spend a little bit of influence and a little bit of cash to immediately 
put a point in here, which can be a great way to build up a country. Like, for example, you run spoils in another country to burn that country to the ground, like which is probably what I'm going to do in Africa. Um, sorry, Africa. When I research the unification tech and I can bring Africa back from the brink of um, chaos, maybe I won't do that. I do apologize. But yeah, essentially, we're 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 colonizing Africa. Like we're we're just Security we're extracting as much wealth as we can from them, and then we're investing that wealth in Europe. I know it's a bit of a you know unethical move. I'm not going to try to justify it, except that I don't know what else to do to get extra money. Amazing. We managed to do a counter crackdown in the Benelux, which is a one step closer to actually getting back control of the Benelux. Uh, Humanity First has made a coup happen in Ivory Coast. I'm totally fine with them doing that. That's totally fine by me. My main worry here. Ah, right. So the probe has arrived on the moon and we have a very limited amount of boost income to build bases. So taking a look at this, two things jump out to me. There's no rare metals on the moon in this playthrough. There usually is one rare metal deposit. Um, there's no high quality deposits. Um, with the exception of this one, this one has a lot of metals. Um, I think I would like to get a diversity of resources. So I'm going to go for the Piri Crater. Um, it'll take nine boost to found an outpost there. But I want to get Piri Crater. And I would like to also get Del Dalembert Crater that has 56 potential resources there. And then if I could, I would also like to get Mare Imbrium. So I'd like to get three bases on the moon, but it's going to cost me a lot more boost. So we're going to have to spend a little bit of time building that up. We get about half a boost per month. That's partially because our control in Europe has been completely undermined. So all that boost that we were producing has been taken away. Now, let me take a look at the relationship here between France and the UK. Yeah, it looks like it's, look, looks like it's time for the UK to rejoin the European Union. You can see here we meet all the qualifying things. It says joint federation requirements with the European Union is passed. We meet all the requirements. So now we can do that. Wow. This guy literally rolled a zero on a D100, which is a critical success. He just obliterated that Xenophora, even though he had a 30% chance of succeeding. I'm genuinely impressed by that guy. Oh, Project Exodus has attacked France. We're going to have to get that back. So this guy can also do purges. I'm going to get him to do a purge in the Netherlands. I'll spend a little bit of influence to make that a 95% success chance. Vinicio, I want him to do a crackdown in France. Ooh, that's really not good. If they do a defend, I'm in bad shape. Let's maximally boost our popularity in France. Ooh, I do want to make contact with the resistance. So I found Faik Nori. Let's go ahead and get a contact going with her because I'd love to trade with the resistance. If they have the IMF, I'd be willing to spend a lot to get control of the IMF. Now, it doesn't have any mechanical meaning. It just, like, is a really good organization for stats. They have Pegasus products. I would really like control of Pegasus products. Tau products I don't mind so much. That's not so useful. Wolfhound Forge Corp would be really good, actually. I'd really like to have that one. Kinetic Pressure Control. I actually kind of want all of these. So how much would you be willing to trade for this? What if I gave you a thousand cash? Ooh, it's really, really expensive. Four thousand money doesn't quite get me there. Do I have any cheap orgs that I could maybe throw away? I could also give them super heavy chemical rockets. They are kind of in a similar boat to me in that they resist the aliens. I would really like Wolfhound Core. Let me see if I can get both of these. So I'm willing to trade away like 4,000 money. God, I really hate this type of diplomacy where you have to like play, enter in the number until you get the right one with a faction. But yeah, trading super heavy chemical rockets is quite good. Um, what does it actually do? Nothing too important. But this is just a, this is a great way for my faction to generate extra resource for trading through um, stuff. Yeah, but Pegasus products I really want because that has administration and income. I'm going to go ahead and complete that trade. I should have tried to get... Oh, I should have done a... Um, let's try and get in contact with them. I should have got a non-aggression pact as well. Damn. Um, the hell was I doing? So there's high thrust probes. Our probes now travel faster. Reusable rockets is an important technology in my opinion. It gives you another 20% boost priority. Boost priority is super important in the early game. Public campaign success. We've upgraded our... Pop oh, they did to defend interests. Look at those sneaky little bastards. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a lot of work to oust them out of there now. Um, I think if I boost popularity enough, I'll be able to break them. We took back control of our control point in the, in the Benelux, which is perfect. That's gonna start putting our boost income back where it belongs. So what's a crackdown looking like now? Yeah, defend interests adds 10 to the difficulty of a mission. So my current popular support is 7.2 with a popularity of 40%. If I could get my popularity up a little bit more, I think I can make this work. So who is it you? I want you to set national policy in France so I can get the you. Sorry, whoa, 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 where was that? National policy in France. The French control points under a crackdown so I can't do things there. 
Mm, okay. So I guess I'm just all in on boosting popular support in France. That's like the most important thing for me to get control of that country back. Because um, if I lose control of the executive in France, they could severely fuck up my plans, like really, really badly. Um, so how much for a non-aggression pact? So they would be willing to trade very little for a non-aggression pact. Let's go ahead and complete that trade. So now if I check relations with the resistance, another alien fleet has arrived on Earth. Another alien fleet has arrived. More alien crashes. Oh, did I already have? Oh, I already had a non-aggression pact with... Oh, God damn it. Well, at least we renewed it. Okay, multiple alien vessels are crashing. All the alien agents are arriving. Um, not good. <laughs> not good. Let's level up a Venetio. I think I'm going to level his persuasion so he can continue to be more effective. Oh, no, I should have done crackdown. <gasps> we need to have a control point in Sweden to be able to use this. Oh, right. I need to go fight for Sweden. Let's give him Pegasus products. That will give him another three administration. So he's up to 22 administration, which is a huge amount. That's like a 20% boost to his money income. More importantly, it just means more and more control points for us. So weirdly enough, Sweden just became really important to me. We're starting to do a little bit of surveillance over where the alien spaceships crash because I want to try to find an alien operative. They do, I believe they do have operatives on Earth. Public opinion in France is pushing in the right direction as well. That's really, really good. It's slow, but it will be overwhelming. God, I really need to get that executive control point back away from being cracked down. A whole year in crackdown is so bad. I wish there was a way to clear the crackdown problem. This is going to delay the unification of Europe by an entire year, um, which really puts us on a bad timeline. So I can finally get control of MI5 and the Bundespolizei. Let's do MI5 first, and I want that on Vinicio. The reason I want it on Vinicio is because I want his investigation to be higher. Higher investigation will allow him to more easily crack other people's control points. It's going to cost me 160 influence, but I think it's worth it because that's three investigation as well as plus one espionage and plus two security. We're starting to get to a point now where we can counter crackdown in France. I kind of want them to control um, that control point in France, though. I guess what we can do is start to take control of some places in Europe. I'm going to... Well, I don't need to abandon my holdings in Africa just yet, but that is part of my plans. There's a lot of alien activity happening, but now I want to start to control more places in Europe. We did just do alien operations, so we can now detect all types of alien operations. And we've just discovered new codex entries. These are the alien missions. They can do abdu abductions, enthralling elites. Ooh, I see. So this allows them to, to get supporters for the servants, domesticate a portion of the human population, enthrall unaligned elites. Ooh, and Xenoform, leave alien bioforms scattered around this region. In time, should they subjugate native life, render humans more pliable and eventually grow great herds of fauna that will hinder the human economy. So yeah, we need to be getting rid of Xenoform. We need to start dealing with the aliens because they're doing subversive and disruptive activities. So we did complete the research alien operatives, uh, operations objective. Uh, even the aggressively anti-alien voices, yet the aliens have made no moves towards open violence. That is the one thing I will say about the aliens. They are subversive, not aggressive. So they have either stayed their hand due to ethical, ethical concerns or they seek to exploit us. Now, as far as we can tell, it's actually the second option. They plan to subvert our democracies. They plan to xenoform our planet, take advantage of the fact that we are not working together. So now we have a new objective to set our goals. And we need to complete the Cooperative Resolution Project, which is a research project, which will um, be a, basically it's a sort of mid game project that we're going to have to complete to be able to complete our win condition. Um, but we have a lot we have to do before we do that. It is a very, <laughs> a very, very expensive project. Like it's 25,000 science and I'm producing. Uh, let me see here. I'm producing 5,000 science a year. So it would take me five years to research it. So I don't think it's time for me to get it just yet. I would want to be chooching along with like maximum Xenoform capabilities. I would want to be, I, I would want to have like basically everything I need to do this. Um, do I start researching alien origins, interplanetary chemical rockets? I'm going to research this for the 10% boost, 10% uh, increase to boost priority. Plus it's a relatively cheap tech. All right, support in France is starting to be overwhelming. Ooh, we can now undertake the alien movements project, which will allow us to actually detect alien operatives. This is a huge step forward for my faction. So Russia has declared war on Ethiopia under the control of the servants. So Ethiopia is over here. Ethiopia has no allies, unfortunately. 
So there's not much we can do about that. That is just how the cookie crumbles. They'll send their armies over there. This will hurt Russia's national economy. Russia is, seems to be the home base of the aliens right here, which I'm not a big fan of because Russia does in fact have nukes and they have 30 of them. Oh God, Russia has the most nukes in the game and the servants are more than willing to use them. Once I start getting Europe solidified, I'm going to have to start dealing with the servants' presence in Russia. Okay, so Russia and Kazakhstan have merged into a single nation. Now that is bad because they're going to have a lot of boost. Yeah, the aliens have a ridiculous amount of boost right now. But that is kind of part of playing the academy. You just have a hard early game. The early game is rough for you, man, because you just that that mid, this mid game crisis that we or this, this early game crisis where we lose all of our support in Europe is going to really, really badly hurt us. I am, however, starting to solidify a little bit of control in Eastern Europe. The, the big problem is that control pr point in France that I got screwed on. Really not good. Amazing. We had a 17% success chance to crack down on Project Exodus in France and we rolled a 3 out of 100 side dice. That's amazing. So we should be able to start to retake control of France properly. 10% more boost, that's good. What else do we want to research here? I think alien origin and alien movements are going to be important for me. I think alien movements in particular, knowing what the aliens are up to, will be really, really helpful. So the good news is we do have control of Bulgaria and we also have control of the Northern Balkan states. Ooh, they were trying to purge the executive. I'm actually going to wait and see if they pull off a successful purge on the executive. I'm going to let them do that because if they purge the executive, I can counter purge and... Um, I can counter purge and then take control of France's executive sooner than I should be able to. No one expects the counter purge, let me tell you. I think it's time to start it. Well, it's not quite time to start abandoning our holdings in, in Africa, but we're solidifying our holdings in Europe very, very slowly. Right, so what am I going to do with you, Bao Mila? Let's check. Is anyone ready to level? So Seamus is ready to level. Oh, we also have new things we can control. Do the Suhail Fund. That costs a lot of influence. Interpol. Ooh, I really want control of Interpol. How much is that? 150 influence? <sighs> Could I get in contact with anyone here? Who has influence? The initiative has a bit of influence. I can get in contact with... Uh, God, they're getting so much boost compared to us. We're getting so little boost. I can get in contact with the Project Exodus, but they don't have any influence for me to buy, Saj. I really need to get the aliens out of Russia. They're causing big problems. Plus, honestly, the other thing is they just get so much boost from being in Russia. I need to, I need to break that. My problem is I just I have I have too much stuff to do and not enough agents to do it, which is what I love about this game. This game is so ah, uh, you just there's, there's never enough. There's never enough stuff for you to do things that you want to do. I really need them to take control of the executive in France. Come on, guys, I know you want to do it. Okay, sadly. They didn't go for it again, it looks like. Looks like they gave up after one round of attempts. So we have control. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They did it. They did it. Oh, this is huge. If I time my mission just right, I might be able to catch them. Now, if they do a defend, let me check. They do have the resources to do a defend, but... Um, oh, yeah, I, I really, really need to go and... Um, I need to maybe level up my counselors. Let's have a look. You're ready for a level. Ooh, another administration company. This costs 1.5K. It'll give me six admin. That's a huge amount of admin. I think 25 might be the max. Yeah, 25 is the maximum admin. So we don't need that. Um, but I definitely want to give you this. The Libertarum Terre. That's two boost per month. That puts me in the top income for boost. This gets me back into the game. Right, so things are starting to recover. Um, speaking of which, I also need to level you. So you don't need any more administration levels. I could take science levels on you. This would make you a better advisor. Um, do I want to do like famous? Mm, extra influence income would be really, really helpful. You are eminent. That's only three influence per month. It's 21. Or I could just go for persuasion, which would increase my command point cap, giving me influence by proxy. Yep, command point cap. You've got 21 XP, so you're ready to level. Um, let's see. What would I like to take on you? Honestly, I think increasing your administration early, 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 just letting you control more of the world seems like a really, really good return on investment. This particular guy, what are you doing? Your control and public information so that we'll do a persuasion on you. Get that persuasion up really, really high. Uh, Divakar, you, on the other hand, I really need you to be a commando. So we'll give him command score. Plus command actually does increase your command point cap. Um, but this is my commando. I need him to be able to actually perform missions against the aliens. Okay, Vinicio, this is like the most important mission you're ever going to do in your life. You need to pull off a purge on this. I'm going to go maximum investment because I absolutely need that purge to go off. I need to do public opinion boosts in France to get my public opinion to the literal maximum because if I don't have control of France's executive within the next 90 days, then this could go really, really poorly for me. We're going to purge this point in France as well to weaken their position. And I'm going to get this lady to defend my interests in the UK. Okay. 
things are starting to heat up. Things are getting intense. I know it's a lot of political maneuvering. I promise you, things are heating. <laughs> things are getting difficult. Um, so vacuum electrostatic principles. Um, now we're researching the mission to Mars. Even though the propellant is ejected 20 times faster than the classical chemical thrust of the sheer electrical power makes it infeasible for larger craft. So this is a new type of propulsion technology that we've just researched on a global level. Has anybody done a hab on the moon yet, I wonder? Yes, the two people who had more boosts than me. Really, really annoying. And they took two of the places I wanted to get control of. That's frustrating and annoying. I got I got screwed by early boost and, and the timing. So the success chance was 36%, which means they did manage to get a defend interest off. That's fine. We're going to be rolling against that twice a turn now with two purges. And um, that's essentially like attacking with advantage in D&D. And we're going to be running missions to get back control. 180 days, that's half a year. France and Korea formed alliance. Yeah, so they've taken control of the executive, which I'm not a big fan of. All right, Vinicio. You need to do a crackdown on that point. 16% chance of success is really low. 21% chance of success is a little bit more doable. Let's do a second crackdown mission. Can I get this up to something resembling 1%? Okay, that's not worth doing. Um, I'll just have you ass assassinate alien assets instead. All right, let's pump public opinion in France. Every little shred of a bonus we can get towards breaking this will be a huge benefit to us. Okay, we've managed to raise public sentiment in France to a really high level, 71%. He rolled 43%. I'm gonna get him to repeat that mission. Our entire strategy revolves around recapturing control of France's executive branch. Oh, we're still dealing with the fallout of that early game crisis. The fact that people realized the aliens weren't here for peace and love um, just completely crippled my strategy and has put me back an entire year. Turkey and France ended their relationship. Mexico and France formed an alliance. Okay, let's get, let's get to Luna. All the good spots are taken except for this one. Let's go ahead and launch an outpost here. Um, yep, that's fine. Piri Crater is fine. 6.6 .6 boost. We we'll found that outpost. 42% success chance on that crackdown now. That's off the back of constantly boosting opinion in France. We're slightly over our control point income. I'm going to abandon somewhere in, Fra in uh, Africa. We don't quite need Africa anymore. It was providing us with a lot of cash. Any organizations to buy? It looks like there's nothing here. Ooh, that'd be quite nice to get. There's a lot of influence there. The aliens are starting to produce more bases in the outer solar system. Yep, 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 yep. A couple more bases are popping up now. However, we have started colonizing the moon. That is something worth First considering. Century. Good man, okay, I've managed, or good lady, we managed to surveil an enemy agent. Public support in France continues to climb, increasing our chance of purging the executive branch. Here we go, space mining and refining. We contributed the most science, so we get to pick the new technology. This will allow us to unlock the outpost mining complex, which will allow us to produce space resources, which will mean our reliance on boost will go down because we'll be able to use resources that already exist in space and don't need to be taken to space. Now, uh, in situ re uh, resource utilization is quite good. Industrialization of space leads to the construction module. This is an important part of space stuff, um, but I think arrival domestic politics is quite important because it, wait, no, is it, um, arrival international relations is important because it leads to corridor diplomacy. And if uh, corridor diplomacy increases your control point, income i know that much so we're going to make our way towards that although that's quite expensive i wish i hadn't chosen that now um, but that's what i want to work on Ooh, we had a 62 percent chance of success and we rolled an 80. it's okay as long as we break it within 180 days of september we're fine canada and france ended their alliance so the bunch of alliances so that the world's political situation is starting to change rapidly which you can imagine is a little bit distressing i'm going to do double crackdowns statistically having two people rolling is actually really effective at increasing your chance of succeeding at a mission. That's why advantage in Dungeons and Dragons is so important. I think it basically, um, I don't know how it works out statistically, but I think if you have a 20 sided dice and you roll it twice, it actually brings it up from being a 5% chance that you roll a crit to it being a 10% chance. So it actually roughly doubles your expected value from the dice in terms of crit, in terms of like getting the, the, the high roll, the most maximal high roll. And it tends to curve things towards the direction you want. So having two people working on that, it seems absolutely worth it. Let's also take control of Ireland. We want to be in control of the executive of Ireland so we can merge it into the European Union when the time comes. Uh, and the reason I'm fighting so hard for France, if I didn't explain this, is because France is in this game, France is the leader of the European Union, which means if you want to unify Europe into a single country, you have to be in control of France. If you're not in control of France, you can't make the Giga Europe. And you, if you can't make Giga Europe, you're not going to be able to do what you need to do. Now, arguably, I could have maybe just taken control of America, but Europe is unique because it's the first large power block that can be consolidated into a large nation. 
And it also has like a really high tech level. Like if you look at the USA, sure, the USA is 430 tech, but I think Europe combined has like 800 tech. Oh my God, we did the crackdown. That's amazing. And we did it in February. We double cracked it down. Okay, that's perfect. Spain left the European Union. This is to be expected. We're going to start bringing... Oh, Romania left the European Union. This is to be expected. We're going to start bringing things under control. India under control of the servants. But the servants are in control of India. Oh my God. Dude, the servants are crazy right now. I just hope they don't get control of China and America. America is the really scary one. I mean, they already have they already have control of Russia and India, which are like two really strong second rate powers. Genuinely terrifying. So we lost a control point in Germany. That's fine. We'll be able to get that back. No problem. Spain and France ended their alliance. Okay. So can you purge this? You can purge this successfully. Venizio, I need you to do a crackdown in Germany. Let's do a round of public support so now we have to try and fight for control of germany this is kind of the frustrating gameplay loop i say frustrating but it's kind of like the gameplay loop that you're you're going to be doing is trying to get control of europe this the the other time that i did this it actually went way better i do like that the game is kind of throwing me a curveball and i'm going to unify europe like a year later than i normally do at least i did at least in my test game when i played the demo uh unifying europe was something you could do in the first year so i think it's a good balanced decision to make it so that you can control less countries in the early game and that unifying countries is a little bit harder i do i do appreciate that because it was a little bit too easy to make giga europe and then you could just lead in all technology categories uh we completed our first output outpost core on luna now we can't quite yet build a mining base uh let's go ahead and set this to the academy so this is our little outpost base on Luna. We can build technology labs here. We can build solar collectors. We are going to need solar collectors, but I'm going to hold off on boosting anything to the moon um, for a while, for a variety of reasons, mainly because we're going to need to save a boost in order to do mining on the moon, which will happen after we do reusable rockets. I'm making 36 boost a year. That's quite good. We need to redo France's priorities, actually. Ooh, I do not like this. The aliens have been boosting public opinion in the UK. I'm going to have to fight against that. Yes, they have been definitely doing psyops in the UK. There's like 50% support for the aliens. Perfect. Outpost mining complex project is available to us. We don't need to rush to research that because we don't have enough boost to get up to the moon yet. We managed to boost public sentiment in Germany all the way up to 43%. That should make it a little bit easier. They did defend interests, which is... That's totally fine. We should be able to break that. Um, we're also able to do Xenoflora defoliants. This will make it harder for the aliens to spread Xenoflora and make it easier, easier for us to clear it. We're researching, we're, we're getting access to a lot of new technologies. Perfect, we now have full control of France. Really, really important. We're gonna be starting to solidify control of the executive in France. And we took control of the French army again. Uh, first things first, you are going to set national, well, first things first, you're gonna defend my interest in France. You are going to set national policy in France so we can get the UK into the European Union again. You, on the other hand, you're going to continue to boost public support here. Uh, what's our chance on a crackdown? 2%. Yeah, we need that popular support, so continue to boost popular support. I'll spend a little bit of cash on that. And we're just pumping popular support in Germany so we can take back control of the command points. Anybody ready for a level up? See, you're not ready, you're not ready, you're not ready, you're not ready. Nobody's ready for a level up. Any new organizations we can purchase? It doesn't look like it. Nope. You're a little bit too expensive. I would like to have you, though. I do need to save up some special ops. I am neglecting to fight Xenoforms right now, but I do need to get the UK into the European Union ASAP. We need to, we need to revert Brexit, okay? <laughs> it needs to be done. Right, we've defended our assets in France, so they're stronger. We've also just finished reusable rockets, giving us a 20% boost to the boost priority. If I actually show you now, and I hover over boost, we're getting a 50% bonus to any investments into boost right now, which is really damn good, right? So if we put two points into boost, we actually get three points into boost. So really, really powerful. I think I also need to invest more into the national economy and ease off on boost income here um, because France's GDP seems to be tanking. Now that might be related to Xenoflora inside France because an alien spaceship did land here. This is a really important one for us to research is commercial rocket companies. For now though, we want to get the outpost mining complex. It's only 500 signs. It'll be done in May. I think I'm going to ease off on these other texts to make sure that this gets done on the 19th of April. I'm going to make that the priority slot. So Federation with the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom will join the European Union. Welcome to the European Union, the UK. Now this will mean some of the UK's boost will get distributed to the rest of the EU. I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, it gives the people reasons to stay inside the European Union. Um, but this is fantastic. Now, if I check here, after, uh, let's see, in March in 2025, so a year from now, I will be able to unify France and the UK into a single nation. Let's get this guy back to fighting the aliens. Israel and France entered their... Yeah, they, they're screwing around with international politics. 
you need to get back to hunting aliens. In particular, I want you investigating alien activity. Although xenoforms actually might be a little bit more important to take out. Go ahead and get on that. I'm going to go ahead and buy that guy. God damn it, just as I had enough stuff to get them, they disappear. That's typical. Let's abandon more assets in Africa. This is purely just to go back underneath my control point cap. Let's have a look at our national priorities here. So Sweden, I'm happy to stay in control of. Middle Guinea, yeah, okay. What's a crackdown looking like? So we've got a 5% success chance. If we pumped a lot of influence, we could get it up to 30. We just need to keep boosting our public campaign popularity inside Germany. That'll do the job for us. Um, open question, actually. Let's do a quick pause here. Do we want to try to control another location on Luna? So... Hmm. These prime real estates are taken. Man, I wish I had those prime real estates, goddamn. Water? Water could be good. It could be good to have an excess of water. And radioactives. There's a lot of radioactives on this tile. I'm going to go ahead and found another outpost on the moon. In particular for this water and this radioactives. That's enough water and radioactives to make it worth it to found a second outpost on the moon. That'll hurt my boost income, but that's fine. Our boost income should start continuing to grow now. Good job, we destroyed more alien assets. I, I, we've been really, really lucky on our alien asset rolls. Like, defeating alien assets has been something we've just been insanely successful, considering what our success chance has actually been. 26% chance to purge is when I'm, or, or, or to crack down is when I'm going to start rolling. I'll continue to start doing public campaigns. And Divakar, do you have a level or anything? I can't attach a new guy to you. Let's see, what's your chance at a crackdown in here? 1%. What if I invest? Yeah, 3% is too low. So I'm just going to keep sending you against alien assets. We want to keep investigating alien activity. Every time we investigate, like an abduction or some sort of whatever it is that the aliens are doing, we get a 1% boost to researching alien related technology. Um, and that might not seem like much. <laughs> But we have a 25,000 cost tech here. So if we could get like up to a 100% research rate with that, that would make researching that so much easier. Because right now we're up to 7k research per year. Right, so solid core fission systems have been finished. Or sorry, solid core fission systems is a new direction. Nuclear fission in space. This will have to do with nuclear engines and in particular fission piles, which are going to be a way to power our habitats and stations that are far away from the sun because there won't be much solar energy. Now this is good because global nuclear fission tech has been increased by one, which means if we have a global energy crisis, we'll be better able to weather that storm because our energy technology is of a higher level so that's really really good actually if they research that technology now they're working on solid core fissions which will actually lead to some nuclear freighters and nuclear freighters i believe makes it much cheaper to deliver things in boost actually if i remember correctly fission the um nuclear freighters are so good i think i'm going to start contributing to solid core fission instead of arrival international relations our attempt to neutralize project exodus in germany failed 51 percent roll let's go ahead and repeat that mission it's april 2024 we should have been unifying europe oh god oh my god this guy just rolls so well on xenoform let's go ahead and attack it again dude he's so good he's a god okay perfect we just completed making the outpost mining complex. Now, this is an expensive build um, because it actually takes a mission control for this. The next thing that we want to research, probably get to work on alien origin, but I'm going to deprioritize that and just research it slowly while I prioritize solid core fission systems. This will lead to nuclear freighters, which will have a big deal impact. Well, actually, maybe I should... I'm going to prioritize alien movements. Get that done in June. Okay, they are trying to purge Germany, which is a little bit spooky. Thankfully, I do have really high op uh, opinion there. It's going to buy me a little bit of time. Right, let's have a look. So Andromeda extraction. This will give us space mining. This will be really, really useful long term. This also gives us a little bit of economy and spoils, but most importantly, that special ops income. I'm going to put that onto this. Oh, you can't get it. You have zero administration. Ooh, we're going to have to level him his in administration up. Canis products. I think that is just money. Aegis defense division. Okay, that's actually really helpful. Three special ops income per month. I'm going to go, go ahead and grab that. Oh my God, I'm actually making special ops now. Seven special ops per month. That is massive huge we have the atlas foundation this would give you the advise mission plus five percent knowledge don't care for that a little bit of cash for a one star i think i'm going to take andromeda extraction here for the space mining bonus that will actually pay huge dividends over the course of the game 11 percent might not sound like much but let me tell you it is a game-changing amount there is quite literally a limited amount of resources you can extract per you know, week per day per whatever in the solar system. So anything you do that can increase that total amount that you can extract is a huge, huge bonus. Amazing. We got the crackdown off in Germany. 
I read okay new hab mo module on the moon as well I really hope they don't succeed on a purge here that would just be a real kick in the teeth all right let's take the purge boom you continue to assault alien assets good man and now I feel safe actually spending spec ops like I could spend two on a mission because I make seven per month so spending two doesn't feel like a big deal anymore so what's our next objective unifying Europe isn't it yeah that's probably it so taking back Poland and Romania will be part of our strategy man they're really moving in on Europe I don't like that so I'm going to start trying to boost my popularity in Poland Poland is an important country to get control of it has a really really good GDP and it has a big population so getting it into the European Union giga country would be really really helpful Ooh, there's alien life forms in Poland yeah they're trying to subvert Poland I need to save them so I would say like the first rate powers are like France Germany UK and then you've got like Benelux Poland Spain and Italy are all sort of like secondary of importance to to bring into the fold and then you have the miners right you have like oh lovely we have control of germany which means our executive control point is, is safe but then you have like the minor powers which is like hungary romania bulgaria you know these are small relatively weak countries that are not super important to bring into the fold but are still worth bringing into the fold like 100 percent. out of curiosity i wonder if i can do a set national policy here i wonder if i can actually merge any countries no i can't unify can i unify the benelux no what about ireland oh, another 80 days god damn it oh my god there's a huge amount of alien life forms in eastern europe all right yeah yeah this looks like where the aliens are concentrating their power and we're going to try to stop them so you're ready to level up Iberus Fund, Welfare, Space Mining, Science. A little bit of science isn't so bad. In terms of augmentations, your main... Ooh, a national hero, not too important. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep leveling this guy's science. That will allow him to not only produce more science, but also later uh, when he starts to become an advise bot and he starts advising my big important nations, he'll be really, really useful. I'm doing a lot of searching around Eastern Europe now because I want to find the alien agents or whoever is spreading this xenoform. I want to find all the xenoforms so I can get it cleared out. Okay, so it looks like they've created a new base on Triton around Neptune. As far as I can tell from the alien bases, they're slowly spiraling their way in towards the inner solar system. They haven't quite made it there. But they're almost about, they're about to create their first base around Saturn, it looks like. What are you? Yeah, outer system colony ship. They're getting ready to colonize Saturn. What are you? Uh, outer system colony ship. Where are you heading? Uranus. So they're starting to colonize the outer planets, which is not good for me. I wonder what the next stage of alien aggression will look like. Let's have a look at the moon. Yeah, people are starting to get moon bases. And I think it is important to have a moon base. And it's also important to maybe start considering taking control of more of the Earth orbits the low earth orbits they could be quite important to take control of because um satellites in earth orbit can have special effects if you build certain modules in them they can increase your ability to alter public opinion they can increase your ability to find alien activity on earth god there's so much alien activity on eastern europe jesus christ this is like the purple curtain falling over europe oh god it's spreading so far lovely we have completed the alien movements project we have found the residue. Da, 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 da. We can now use forward-looking infrared radar to detect biological aerosol threats. And we can now find alien operatives. That is huge. This is one of our objectives. Though our influence is weakened, we are still not without friends. We've agreed to feed us information. Uh, people have agreed to feed us information. We're spying on the servants. We should be able to track the movements of their masters. So we need to locate an alien operative on Earth and use one of our counselors to conduct a contact mission against it. So new uh, objective. While our attempts to contact aliens continue, we will pursue a parallel, more aggressive pr approach. Any long-term truce with the aliens will require us to be able to effectively defend ourselves against their ability to subvert humans. And this will require us to understand their biology. An autopsy on a corpse is necessary so we can detect an alien operative on earth and conduct an assassinate mission against it and if we assault alien installations or in, on earth or in space we have a chance to get an alien body as well this is a more aggressive approach it will potentially make the aliens aggressive to us and then they'll start attacking our assets so we might want to be a little bit careful about that in terms of technology nothing in here looks super important i will work towards space tugs because 11 percent hab delivery speed is quite handy but i'm going to deprioritize that in favor of finishing the alien origin a little bit sooner i think that's an objective right yeah we need to research the alien origin in order to complete an objective and i'm, I'm, I'm being objective focused right i'm trying to complete my objectives i'm not trying to metagame too much i don't know too much about the game to metagame you know make decisions that have long-term you know benefits over the short-term benefits etc 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 more alien bases are appearing so it looks like they're setting up shop in the outer solar system <laughs> and they're doing it very quickly and very effectively so we've got new organizations to purchase Ooh, harper analytics and this 
I really want to put this on, what do you do? You advise stabilize nation and public campaign. So I want to put this on this guy right here. This will give him a little bit of administration so he'll actually be able to hold orgs. More importantly, the little bit of extra administration will make it so that our influence goes back into being the positive. We're kind of riding a very thin line by being over our influence cap. It's costing us 1.5 influence per day, which is quite a bit. Mission control is huge. 6% mining, monthly income. Actually, out of curiosity, did I look, did I research commercial? No, I don't think I have commercial um, rocket companies yet. Let's go to Seamus here. I'm going to go ahead and give him anything that has science. I'm going to give to him so that he can actually be a pretty strong science character all on his own. Like he's producing 100 science per month, which is, by the way, just to like put that amount of science in perspective, that's about as much science as France is producing. So your agents are actually a really important part of your economy. So it's important to develop them and give them skills that they'll need. Let's try to talk to the aliens, actually. The first time we're going to get a chance to talk to the servants, we might be able to get something useful from having a chat with them. Yeah, crackdown success chance is really weak in these countries. Right, finally, we have access to the fission pile. This is an important piece of technology for colonizing the inner and outer solar system. All right, trade negotiations with... Man, they have so much cash in the bank. What do they have in terms of orgs? I need to take anything off them that gives them boost. Holy shit, they have so many orgs. Any unassigned orgs. I think they have an easier time giving up unassigned orgs. Not many of these are particularly good. Leonidas surveillance seems quite powerful. Yeah, it's a three star. They seem to value it really highly. All that special ops income is really, really damn good. Detained counselor is also a really powerful mission if you can pull it off. I wouldn't mind getting these technology companies. How much would they be willing to part those? Mm, too much. They want like 6,000 per company. Scutum Financial I'd be willing to pay like quite a bit for. This is an admin company and admin companies are more valuable than others. And the reason is quite simple. If you buy admin companies, you can have more organizations and it also increases your organization capacity and increases the amount of countries you can control. These are just really, 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 really valuable. So I think I'm willing to buy Scutum or do I just want to buy their boost to slow them down? They're willing to trade two boost for how much? God, I really hate the, the table thing. We need to do, we need to, we need to come up with a new way to do diplomacy in games rather than having to fiddle around and figure out exactly how much they want. Okay, so I can buy two boosts for them for that much. And two boosts might not seem like much, but that's uh, almost an entire month's income. I'll take Scutum Financial. I have no projects I can give them, nor any of these. Let's offer them all of my cash and some of my influence. All of my spec ops. Nope, they won't give me Scutum Financial. All right, I guess I'll just buy this for like 450. Yep, sounds good. Two extra boosts, not a big deal, but uh, an expensive, expensive trade, sadly. So what's our plan? I think we just want to keep boosting general public opinion across the globe. So running campaigns in certain countries seems helpful. China is still under no one's control. Yeah, no one has a foothold in America. We could start building up our relationship with America, I guess. I'm down with that. That seems reasonable. Okay, I got a level up for you. Let's take admin levels. Admin levels are always just the best, in my opinion. Admin lets you control more land. It lets you control more organizations. Organizations are a great source of resources. They're a great thing to buy. It just all seems to line up in the correct way for me. I really hope this guy rolls well. He's been rolling really poorly lately, like really, really poorly. I'm gonna have to do more scanning over here to see if I can find more of these uniforms. He has cleared none of them. I was singing his praise earlier, but now he's been dropping the ball. <laughs> he's let me down big time in the in the clearing of Eastern Europe. I've even been spending a little bit of ops. I, 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 he's, just, he's just been dropping the ball. Right, we confirm our assignments. We're, ba we're basically just scanning around, looking for xenoforms. Uh, let's go have a chat with the protectorate. What have you guys got? So you want Ooh, I don't think I'm going to make that trade. Sorry. I'm going to leave those negotiations. I think they were trading with me. Ooh, that's bad. So Iran is under control of humanity first, and Iran now has nuclear weapons. Now, the first nuclear weapon costs 80 investment points, but every nuclear weapon after that only costs 25. So theoretically, with 120 investment points per year, Iran can make five nukes per year, which is a terrifying prospect. So yeah, I think the, the two factions most likely to use nukes are the, um, what do you call it? The aliens and humanity first, both of which are, you do not want to be in control of nukes. So Iran has a nuke, which is a bit scary. Now they're going to build an army and look to go to war. That's kind of what humanity first likes to do. I mean, it, it works for their, their game plan, which is to eradicate the aliens, uh, but it tends to end really poorly for them. So let's talk to the protectorate here. They might have things that are useful. They don't have any projects. I don't have any projects I can sell to them either. Let's have a look. What do you got? Oh, that's a really, really expensive one. I wish I had it. Benelos Investments. I, I need to get someone who can like target their agents and start stealing their, their companies because I, I just don't think I'm going to get them. Cadmus Rocketry now. 
that's what I'd be willing to spend a lot of money on. So 1,375 credits for Cadmus Rocketry, which is 0. Ooh, Lightstar Orbital. I need that. I'd be willing to burn all of my income to get it. That is so much, so much boost. Come on, I'm trading you literally everything I own. <sighs> he doesn't want it. What if I gave you the International Space Station? He would take it for the International Space Station. You son of a bitch. All right, I'll make do with just Cadmus rocketry. God, this dude has rolled low like six times in a row, man. You're meant to be my anti-alien guy. You rolled so well earlier. He used up all his good rolls, man. He used up all of his good rolls and he has just failed to clear any alien life forms now. Do I have anyone who can do a hostile takeover? No, I really need someone who can though. The tycoon is a good one to do that. I wish I could get that tycoon. Who do I give up though? That's the problem. I have so many good at characters that I can't just get rid of. Right, electrostatic propulsion is starting to be researched. And we have finished the mission to Mars. So I'm going to go ahead and immediately send a probe to Mars. Take 157 days because I have high speed probes. Seems good. Now Mars is a little bit more interesting. We could also launch probes towards Mars's moons. Mars's moons tends to have really, really, really good resources. They tend to have really good water and fuel. Deimos and... Phobos, I think it is. Mars itself is a much richer planet, planetoid than the moon. It tends to have a ton of really, really, really useful resources. Uh, particularly Olympus Mons tends to have really good rare resources. So I'm kind of excited to see what will happen there. There's a lot of RNG in this game, which I kind of like. Oh God, literally just talking about this. Bro, I literally, like, just my International Space Station just got hit by orbital debris. That is so frustrating. Um, I played a game where I got to, like, 2026, and this never happened. <sighs> That's frustrating. Let's go ahead and... Because these aren't cheap. These are expensive. This is, like, a lot of boost I have to fire up here now. 1.5 boost is huge. Right, especially if you consider, right, in order to build a mining station on Luna, I need to have what? What is this? 41 boost to get a mining station on Luna. We're miles away and we're getting put further and further away. That's like a whole year's worth of boost income. So like that's a pretty big setback, all things considered. Finally, he succeeded in clearing some Xenoforms in Kiev. Something. Let's take a look at the organization marketplace. We have Granada Entertainment. This is honestly a little bit of influence. I'll take that. Eight influence per month is a decent amount, especially when we're over our cap. Nothing else here jumps out. There is an Israeli Shayeth at 13. Yeah, nothing here. I would love to have the Quds Force. God damn it. They're going to get the Quds Force. That's such a powerful organization. There's so many really good orgs that are like country specific that you miss out on when you're doing this strategy. It's probably not the strongest strategy, but it's a reasonable strategy in my opinion. So somebody's done a crackdown in the UK. Let's go ahead and start boosting our popularity inside the UK. And we'll also do a defend assets inside the UK. I can't believe an entire year of game time was just obliterated from me. Let's get a level up on my scientist again. We're going to continue to pump science on this guy. We just want to get as much science as possible. And no one else is ready for a level up, sadly. We will confirm our assignments. We are just focusing on keeping our public opinion high in Europe. Um, although, finally, at long last, I might actually be able to start the process of unifying Europe. Ireland and France will be able to unify into a single country, I think, next turn. Good, he rolled well. So he is clearing out the Xenoforms in Eastern Europe and we need to keep those cleared out. All right, first things first this turn, let's double check. So France and Ireland can form a union. Let's get Seamus on the case, jump in there, set national policy in France. Um, now, what about France and who else? France and the Northern Balkan states can unify. So we'll go ahead and set national priority again here. And France and Bulgaria can conjoin together. So we'll go ahead and set national priority. <gasps> Turn counselor. Maybe maybe we'll try to turn a counselor later. We need to do three things in there so we can start to unify Europe. Um, your job is to start getting rid of these aliens. They're everywhere. Let's do a scan of India. We've never done a scan of India just in case there's like some bad stuff over there that we need to worry about. So this is this is the big moment here. This is when unification begins. This is when this whole play that I set up here actually starts to pay off. This has been the thing we've been building towards um, since we started this series, is unifying Europe into a single country. <gasps> we researched alien origin, nice. Our scans confirmed that not all of the substances within the debris are available locally. So our visitors do indeed have industrial scale presence within Sol's orbit. They did not originate from this solar system. So the alien base has been located, a frozen rock on the Kuiper Belt. The most interesting is how do they get here? Did they use FTL or do they go by slow travel? 
Um, they've set up orbital habit- habitations around various bodies and they're using those as staging points. They seem intent to stay here for some time. They are starting to invest in this. So they're investing in our solar system, um, which means they seem to have some use for us. There's nothing here, 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 here that's really important to research. So I'll just slowly research fission pile and then we'll get to work on solid core fission systems. If we can get nuclear freighters, it'll make researching or make sending things to the space so much cheaper in terms of boost. It'll basically be a multiplier on our boost income. Uh, so Austria has left the European Federation. So we could get, we could work on getting a federation with Norway, but more importantly here is this unification action. This is the thing that we've been building towards. We can unify all of these countries. We can unify with Germany. In fact, I'm going to immediately unify with Germany. Now, really important, what happens here is these countries combine all their stats together and become the European Union. So right now, between these two countries, we have like a lot of investments. But crucially, look at this number up here, okay? Each, by controlling a larger proportion of the world, it becomes cheaper. So now I'm saving 10 points. By combining these two countries together into one giga country, it's 10 cheaper for me to maintain this. So let's unify with the Benelux. Perfect. Boom. Amazing. And then we will finally unify with Ireland. So we've got two more unification targets. And this has freed up at least a reasonable amount of control points that we can start to pursue and control more of Europe and fold it in. Uh, but now we're making, like, look at this research right now. We're making 8.8k research now with this huge country. And this country is so big and so powerful. It's got, what, 10 trillion economy? 200 million people. So Giga Europe has begun to form. The European Union has begun to unify into a single political body, which is super based, at least in the context of trying to prove our worth to an alien species. So we're going to continue to set national policy. You, however, Seamus Lenigan, his job now is to just sit here and advise the European Union until the end of the game. So the reason for that is Seamus Lenigan has 25 admin skill 13 science skill, zero command skill, but that'll come later. But the 25 admin skill will be applied to these investment points. It'll multiply it by 1.25, which means that we will actually have a huge amount more investment and thus we'll be able to build up our economy really, really quickly. So uh, let's also think about how we want to take care of the European Union. Some of the really important things that we're going to want to do here is I think we can skip spoils in the EU. Let me have a look at that. How much is that worth? <sighs> It is worth like 400 money per investment point. Oh, I would much rather just get boost in mission control and increase our knowledge. Like our tech level is huge. Our per capita GDP is massive. We will have two armies. So once we integrate the UK, we will want to consider starting to spend on military. For now, I'm just going to put like a very, very low priority on military. Like 5% seems totally reasonable to me. Um, we don't have that much inequality. Our cohesion is at a reasonable level. We've got really good democracy, so I don't think we need to invest in unity. Our welfare is probably also not a priority. I think we would like Europe to be a center of science and knowledge. So that's what we're going to focus on. We don't quite need as much funding. All that funding that we invested into the Netherlands now is starting to pay off. We're picking up quite a bit of cash per month. But I think equally it's important to continue to invest into the... Um, into welfare, knowledge, and the economy, while also maintaining a little bit of military, a little bit of funding, and primarily focusing on also getting boost in mission control. So I think this is a pretty reasonable fit. Um, I'm very, very happy with that setup. God, we're, we're in such a good position now. We didn't find any xenoforms here. Let's continue to scout Eastern Europe. I'm a little bit scared about that. Uh, but now we can start running purge missions, like we can start to bring Portugal into the fold. I think I should really focus on the big, strong countries and the countries that are also just significantly useful, like Denmark. But, but I should also just go for easy, low-hanging fruit, especially if it disrupts the servants. So, like, I'll go after Slovakia, for example. Now, how long is it? So, I think in March, we can merge the UK into the European Union. Oh, yeah, look at that. We're producing 9K research per year. That's huge. We cracked down Slovakia. Amazing. I probably meant to do a purge. Let's unify with Bulgaria. Now, unifying with these smaller, crappier nations isn't as important but it does add GDP and population and means I can control a bigger percentage of the world for a smaller amount of control points. So unification is usually just a good idea because that's that, like unifying that country saves me 12 control points. Like these little countries, I can fold them in, pick up their research points, pick up their population and just control a larger percentage of the surface of the earth. Sure enough, this is going to create a little bit of unrest. Unifying Europe is not a smooth or easy process, uh, but it's absolutely necessary. It looks like Project Exodus yoinked a point of the United Kingdom from me. I'm going to have to try to get that back. That's really annoying.
What's our crackdown percent? I'm going to go full send on that. But I think I'll pick up the rest of this in the next episode. I feel like I feel like this is it. This is like the moment of greatness. We're on the verge of starting space mining. We have we've we've unified, you know, the three of the major powers in Europe. We just need to get the UK on board. We started to assimilate the smaller powers. We're starting to solidify control in Europe. And once we have full control of Europe, we can look maybe to starting to unify Africa, unifying, maybe taking control of China or the USA. Um, it, the, 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 the world is our oyster, essentially. And the, the potential here exists for us to do some really, really great things. But that's going to be it for me for this episode. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.